It is an alarming trend. Recent studies show the U.S. has the highest pregnancy-related death rate of any developed country, and there are significant racial disparities. In Maryland, we rank among the worst states for maternal mortality rates. Amy Kawada shares a grieving Baltimore father's message to future mothers. I thought it was going to be the amazing, the best day of my life. It turned out to be a nightmare. And at the same time, I got a beautiful baby girl. Tarek Allen is still trying to cope with the sudden and unexpected death of the love of his life and mother of four of his children. It was in a split second. My life changed just like that. Allen says Melanie Joyner was a healthy 37 year old woman leading up to her fourth pregnancy. She died in October, shortly after giving birth to their fourth daughter, Tyler Rose. She went to cardiac arrest and then it was amniotic fluid going to the heart and then a brain. A recent report by the March of Dimes shows today the U.S. remains among the most dangerous of developed nations for childbirth, particularly for communities of color, with about 700 mothers dying from pregnancy-related deaths each year. It's a huge systemic issue that is really, you know, particularly for communities of color, is undergirded by this persistent, long-standing history of racism. Data shows black women are dying at three to four times the rate of white women. Experts say most of these deaths can be prevented. It can be prevented by um, educating the patient, obviously by educating the women, but also listening to the women as they are sharing these symptoms. Allen's message to other future and expecting mothers. Your checkups, make sure you take them serious. Go get second opinions. We need to do some research. It, I, Cause I don't, mothers don't need to lose their life for giving babies. That would be like the most joyous, best time of your life. And this week, President Biden signed the first bill in the Momnibus package into act, putting $15 million behind for maternal care for women veterans. Reporting for WJZ, I'm Amy Kawada.